Hello everybody, we are working with the IQBEX line of products. Specifically, we'll see how SensePlay can be used with various sensors and the WIDIG to control audio and visual media. Today we want a slideshow where every slide is accompanied by a sound. With two touch sensors controlling the audio and visual output, this is the end result we can expect today. As a first step, plug the sensors to the YDIG and then the YDIG to the computer. We already have the first sensor plugged. When there are only three wires from the sensor, make sure the wires plug the slots in the YDIG from the bottom up, such that the top slot is left empty. So now I'll connect the second sensor, making sure that the red wire is up and the IQBEX and YDIG logo are also facing up on the device. You can see that these are two touch sensors plugged into inputs 1 and 2 of the YDIG. I will now connect the YDIG to the computer using a USB cable. If you choose the wireless option, then plug the YDIG to a battery. Plugging in creates a virtual serial port. You'll need to have previously installed the virtual COM or serial port. See the link to the VCP driver below. We already have it right here. We use a USB cable instead of a MIDI cable to transmit MIDI information through USB. Now on our computer, we can open Connect. This turns the virtual serial port into a MIDI port for SensePlay. Then open SensePlay. And in the meantime, we can check if we have the latest firmware by pressing this button. And we can see that we have the latest build. Now we'll configure the inputs in the software SensePlay. Press Refresh, choose port YDIG2, and the box should turn green. This is the master audio, so you can bring it down and up, and uncheck play one media file at a time only. We'll add two new sources. We'll use input one for source one, and input two for source two. And a source can trigger or control and output. We'll use trigger and bring the threshold up so that we need to press the first sensor harder to trigger it. And we'll set the second sensor with a lower threshold so we can press it very lightly to trigger it. For the output, we'll have an audio output and we'll use source 1 for the function start and we'll use source 2 for the function stop. Now we can choose a media file that we'll drag and drop into the box. This is a sound file. And as we press start, sensor 1, and we can stop it with sensor 2. Now to change this file, we can press clear and drag and drop a different sound file into the box. Now we're going to add a second output, a sequence output. We'll use source 1 for the next function and we can bring in a series of pictures into the bo box. Just drag and drop right into here. And now if we press sensor 1, it flips through all the slides at the same time as giving us sound. Now if we press escape, we can see the entire sequence on the full screen. And we press escape to escape the full screen display. Once you have the settings established, save the settings that were used by pressing save and save the file. Set the startup load delay time to a few seconds. This is in case you need SensePlay to start automatically on computer boot up, like after a power outage. Then you need to load settings with a delay so that SensePlay starts up fully functional first. Regularly check the download page and check if all your software and firmware are up to date. If you don't find it, 
type IQBEX into your search engine and choose the first link. Now, at any point, you can always click on the Help button in SensePlay to see the help topics discussed in detail. Press the version number and you can see the help topics right here. Don't hesitate to click on the Questions button to get technical support and send your inquiries. Don't be shy, that's what it's there for. We hope that you enjoy using IQBEX with SensePlay. Till next time!